Hey everybody, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how only two guys can pour a concrete floor. This is a garage floor. It's 32 by 28. It's got a center drain right there. Can you see that? And just the two of us are going to be pouring this today, just Luke and I. So I'm going to show you how we do that and how you go about attacking the garage floor if there's only two of you guys in here. So this is what the video is about. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. You can see we're dumping out the concrete. So we got two concrete trucks coming here and we did run into some trouble with the concrete. So stay tuned for that. That'll come up a little bit later in the video. I'll show you how we deal with that stuff. But right now we got a 3500 PSI mix with, with microfiber mesh in it. And then there's a 15 mil Stego vapor barrier there for poly vapor barriers, 15 mil stick. We're using a a super plasticizer or a water reducer in the concrete so we can pour a pretty nice and loose slump as you can see how how good that flows that's because of the water reducer guys that's not just water so those of you who don't know what water reducer is it's just an additive you can ask for at the batch plant and it helps make the concrete a little more workable so you don't have to pour a really really stiff slump and have to worry about weakening the concrete so that's we we use water reducer in all our mixes and it just makes pouring our floors a lot easier it actually helps with the finishing process too it makes them it makes the mud a little creamier a little pastier a little bit easier to work with both finishing and pouring you can see how nice that stuff flows so that's we can get up to like about a seven inch slump on this stuff without without even hurting the strength of the concrete so that's probably about what we're pouring right there is right around the seven six and a half seven slump is just how wet or dry the concrete is it goes from you know one to ten with one being really really stiff dry and then ten being really really wet yeah we're just going to take our little shoot off there that eight foot shoot comes in handy we use that almost every day So Luke and I, I mean, we poured a lot of floors, just the two of us by ourselves. You can see I'm getting around that floor drain right now. Um, also, you know, Darren was out today. He couldn't make it, so it was just just Luke and I. But two guys, you know, if you have a, a little bit of a process, a little bit of a technique, you can pour a concrete floor pretty easily just by yourself. We're matching. I don't know if you can see it too good in the video, but there's a chalk line. There's a blue chalk line around that foundation that's floor level so we're matching the chalk line on the foundation and then we're going to match the top of the drain there in the center and everything's going to slope to the drain hopefully that's the, that's the plan anyway so this is where we started having some trouble with the mix as you can see we got these big concrete balls coming out of the concrete truck and this isn't this isn't like it's really uncommon but it doesn't happen every day on us you know just once in a while the cause of it, sometimes it's uh, the batch man maybe loading the dust, the cement dust, too quick, or the cement dust has some moisture in it. But usually the mixing process will break these up. We just couldn't get all of them broken up in this truck, towards the end of this truck. So this is right towards the end of the load. He did have some bigger ones in there to start with. He could hear them, but as he was mixing, they broke up and we were just left with what was what was here towards this last yard or two but you can see we just step on them we, we smush them up best we can with our feet and get them leveled out get them towards the bottom of the mix right now he's mixing up again to try to break up whatever's left in there for those concrete balls and we'll see what happens here in a second as we go to dump some more but the first part of the load as you can see was fine they just hung out towards the end of the load and as we kept pouring this last yard or two we just kept getting them and we had to just throw them aside break them up you know and then you can see one coming down the shoe right there so let me know down in the comments you guys that pour concrete do you ever get these concrete balls and what do you call them we you know we call them either cement balls or concrete balls you can see luke can just break them right up i mean the it's still concrete it's just a really really dry ball of concrete that's all 
but they are kind of a pain in the butt and you know you can keep mixing and keep mixing you can see there's some more coming down the chute and they just don't seem to all break up so since we were towards the end of the load here we just start, decided to empty him out and deal with whatever came out and just break them up get them smushed smushed up really really uh, small and just level them out towards the bottom and then we just pour the the looser stuff right over the top of them so that's basically how we dealt with that problem uh, the second truck we didn't have any in the second truck that that we're gonna be dumping here it was just the very end of that first one guys so again let me know now in the comments if you've ever seen that before if you've ever had to deal with it and you know just how you guys deal with it
got 68 out of this thing. That was it. That's how two guys pour a garage floor. So if you want to see more, check out these two videos that are popping up right here, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come on back and we'll see you on the next one.